we had a lengthy discussion, lengthy class on activity-based costing, didn't we? So um, can, you, can you just uh, summarize your understanding of ABC? Um, let's take it in turns. Who wants to build the car? Um, Mr. Fofana. No, Mariana. Oh, Binta, yes, Binta. Um, what I understand from ABC is that mm -hmm. ABC activity-based costing is more accurate and more complex than traditional costing. Okay, correct. Because like um, the method, it will first assign the cost to the activities, mm -hmm. then assign the uh, the cost to the products depending on the usage or the products usage of the activity. Exactly, depending on the products demand on the activity. Excellent, that's good, that's good. Thank you, Binta. Anyone else? Anyone else? Can we have another volunteer? Hello, Mr. Fofan, can I try? Yes, ma'am, late, yes, go ahead. Okay, basically what I understand about ABC, like it's mm -hmm. the costing method that you should uh, apportionment. Like uh, this method, when it uses apportionment, therefore it calculates all costs of activities of our organization. Okay, okay. Um, uh, its emphasis is, is on uh, fixed cost though, not um, variable cost. Okay, but that's, that's correct, okay. Anyone else? Fansu Dumbaya, are you just joining us? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Were you were you in last last week? Did you attend the ABC class? Yes, I attend. I attend the last one. Okay. What 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 what, 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 what is ABC? Please, please, please don't tell me. Please don't tell me that ABC stands for Amity Bread Carriers. It's activity based costing. But but not not Amity Bread Carriers, huh? No, 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 activity based costing. I'm sure, I'm sure for, for some of you who have attended Amitage, you will, you will know about ABC, Amitage Bread Carriers, huh? No, looks, <laughs> I don't know whether we have anyone who, who, attend, who attended Amitage. Yeah, I press the Hello, Mr. Yes. Uh, uh, activity based question looks at each product by tracing what activity takes place to produce the product. Okay, that's correct. That's correct. Yes. Okay, so let's move on. Let's move on to save time. Um, actually, when you look at uh, activity based costing, it is a uh, modernized. Yes, yes. Please, sorry for the interruption, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon. So, uh, I just I have a suggestion that, that I want to uh, that, that I want to make. Okay, go ahead. Yes, sir. I was suggesting if we if you can have a board. You know, among us, we are fast and slow learners. At okay. least to carry everyone along. At least if we can have a board. You know, some well, if they see something written, they remember. You understand? Some when they read, they remember. Some when they write it for themselves, they will never forget it. You understand? Okay. So you have okay. different categories of, 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 of people. So please, if you can have a board, and when you are doing your solution, you put it on the board, at least that will help some of us to remember how we arrived to this particular answer. There on, we can now, you know, if we, there on, you can give us as an assignment to put it on an Excel and submit uh, on, on, a, on, a, on a Google sheet and submit, submit it to you. I think that that will definitely help me in particular. 
honestly. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, that, that's, that's, that's a good suggestion. But if you look at it, um, this day and age, you know, who wants to use a board? You know, um, especially on a subject like this, which is, which is um, uh, calculation. Um, if we want to use a board, there are a lot of problems to it. Uh, one, the lecturer needs somebody to, I mean, uh, be, I mean, uh, doing the, the videoing and, and, and stuff, you know, and, and, and again, there will be some instances when the calculations will not be clear, okay? And uh, the disadvantage with that is you will not learn the specific aspect of it, which you need very seriously. You definitely need the skills as an accountant. So I thought you are going to be really, really happy with this way, you know, because you are killing two birds with one stone. Okay? And again, uh, what's the use of the board? The board is just for students to see um, what's being written. And whatever we're doing is all written, is clear. If it is a text that needs to be presented, uh, the slides are there. And I think all of you are seeing the slides. And if it is the calculation, we're doing it together. You've seen it on the, on the Excel. So why a board? Mr. Barry, why do we need a board? I don't think we need a board. Are you not understanding this, the steps that we are taking to, 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 to answer it on the, on the Excel? And you'll have an opportunity to either watch the video or the file is already shared with you. The file is there, you can always go over. And if there are any formulas that have been done, you can always review the formula. I'll show you how to uh, view it using formulas. Is that not enough, Mr. Barry? Hello? Hello, class. What's, what's your reaction to what Mr. Barry is saying? Mr. Bobana, for me, it's fine because at this we are learning two things at the same time. And in this, as you said, in this world we are in now, it's more technical. Yeah, uh, exactly, sorry, Marley. That's, that's correct. That's correct, yeah. Yes, Alaji? And, and and then my suggestion to him is that, Mr. Fofana, as uh -huh. we are solving, as we are solving, the solutions are always on that. Then he, he can use a paper and a pen and work it through his paper and the pen and he can understand. Exactly, what exactly. Exactly, if he's happy with that, exactly. He can use paper and pen. That's why I keep saying, always make sure you have paper and pen handy if you're an, if you're an, an old accountant. <laughs> okay, but anyway, I'm, I'm, I think it's a democratic world. I mean, you're right to, 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 to uh, make those suggestions and stuff. But I think if we do that, 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 will, that will be seriously backwardness, <laughs> to be honest. It will be seriously backwardness because um, you will not be learning any specific uh, skills. And again, there are a lot of uh, issues when you have to use a board. Sometimes it will not be projected properly and so on and so forth. No, no, no. I, I don't think it's the way forward. Okay. Good afternoon, Mr. Yes, afternoon, Bintu. How are you? Fine. Um, about what I wanted to, I wanted to contribute. Definitely, for the spare seat, we, I mean, I'm fine with it. We are learning two things at the same time, and it is an, an advantage for us. Definitely, yeah. it's okay with the spare seat. We are learning. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So I think this represents the uh, well. If there are if there are other views, can can we hear them? But I think this will represent the the, the voice of the of, of the others. Um. Amadou, to be honest, uh, I, I consider your class to be the luckiest because during previous semesters, um, I've been trying to organize uh, specific classes for them, but due to my, due to my busy schedule, I, 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 I couldn't. So this time around, you have it on the plate, free of charge. So please take the best, you know, uh, 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 how to call it, uh, just make sure you get the best out of it. So please, yeah. 
No, no, no going back to board. I think that's all fashion, yeah? Agreed, Mr. Barry? Shall we move? Yes, sir. You can move, sir. We can carry on, sir. We can carry on. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. Thank you. So, right. So, so like I said, um, ABC, uh, which stands for activity-based costing, is a modern way of um, costing products and services. Okay? So, it's an improvement on the absorption costing and marginal costing techniques. Okay? So, um, it's a lot better. It's more advantageous. Uh, it opposes cost to products, you know, in a, in a fair way, unlike the absorption costing system, okay? So in ABC, just like um, um, uh, those who participated said, uh, when we are absorbing fixed overheads, when we are sharing fixed overheads, first we look at those fixed overheads, how they have been created, okay? how they have been created. Um, and we know, of course, every fixed overhead is created as a result of an activity. So the, uh, the, the system looks at the, the activities, you know, uh, that have been, um, uh, uh, how to call it, the, the business activities that created those uh, fixed costs. So it tries to do relate those business activities to cost objects like products, services, you know, customers, you know, and so on and so forth. So with the assumption that cost objects, in order to make them exist, in order to have your products or your services, you must have gone through some activities, okay? And uh, those activities will be highlighted and those activities naturally will consume resources for them to be implemented. Okay, so the resources, of course, the business resources, financial resources, you know, uh, manpower, and anything else will definitely attract cost. So the apportionment of fixed costs using ABC uses this assumption, okay, which is really, really fair. So um, in ABC, what we use um, to absorb or to share fixed overhead is what we call cost driver rate. In absorption costing, what we use is called what? Um, FOAR, fixed overhead absorption rate, or OAR. Okay, but they do the same thing, okay, as we will see uh, when we answer uh, this question. Okay, so in summary, um, that's about ABC. So uh, let's continue with our, with our question. But before continuing with our question, I want to show um, the rest of you, I'm sure a majority of you are using a mobile phone, okay? So I'm going to show you how you can access um, uh, your Google Sheet on your mobile and uh, just some of, the, uh, some of the functions, few functions that may be different from um, the, the, the PC one, okay? The, the Google Sheet as it will appear on the PC. So just one moment, let me connect my, let me connect my phone to the laptop and then I'll show you how this works. Uh, where is the app? Why? So I just go to the mirroring app and then I'll say connect. Okay, and then I'll broadcast. Okay, just one moment. Okay, excellent. So let me connect that to um, first what is being projected. So I just present it. Right, one second. Stop this one. Then I come here I'm using a Chrome. Um, Airbeam share. 
Okay, so can you see my, my, my phone, my iPhone? Can you see? Can you see? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, we can see, sir. Okay. You can yes, see. we can see. So what, what, what picture can you see at the moment? Your daughter's picture. Sorry? Your daughter's picture. Oh, how do you know that it's my daughter? How do you know? Am I that old? <laughs> you no, you, you, yes, you, you, you're right. Yes, that's, that's, that's the one. It's my daughter who is studying medicine in Malaysia. I think they are doing some practicals. It's on my background. Okay, so um, uh, when you go, you see my... Okay, so you see seats is already downloaded. Can you see? Can you see seats just at the, um, the, the next row from the bottom? Can you see? Okay, so if you download... Yes, yes. If you download the Google Sheet app on your mobile phone, this is the way it should look like. It should say seats, as you can see. Okay, so um, everybody, so if you download it, in order to download it, you go to your, um, your, uh, your, your iPhone. Well, if you're using iPhone, you will go to, let me show you where you go to. Well, I think most of you know this already. So you go to App Store, which is this one. So you go to App Store, okay? And then you type sheets or whatever that's if you are using iPhone, okay? Um, if you are using Android phone, you where do you go? You go to your Google, uh, how do you call it? Is that Play, 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 Play Store or whatever? I've, the last time I used the Android phone was a long time, so I forgot. It's, it's Play Store, isn't it? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Play Store. Yeah, it's called a Play Store or whatever. Okay, so you go to your you go to your Play Store and then you download the app. So after downloading the app, this is the way it looks like. Um, it will say Sheets, as you can see here. So once you click on Sheets, yeah, as you can see, these are all the files that I have on this uh, particular something. As you can see that. So that's the register. Or so if you want to create. No. It's my um how to call it when you you see so many sheets coming. You see uh sheets music bar sheet which one should I select? Um you mean you are you seeing my screen now? Yes, I'm seeing it. Okay, the first one is ma 3 online class register, ma 3 assignment on Google Sheet and so on and so forth. No, what I'm saying is, I think you said we should go to, um, how to call it? Uh, the app. There is an yes. app called Kids. App Store. Like the App Store. We should go there, right? Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay oh. I've not downloaded it yet. No, I, I don't have it. I yeah, okay, I've not downloaded it. Okay. You go to, you go to, which one are you using? Samsung, uh, uh, how to call it, iPhone or what? Yeah, yeah. You are using iPhone? Yes. So you go to App Store. Mm -hmm. As you can see now, then you come here, then mm -hmm. you say um, Google Sheet. You type Google Sheet. Okay. Okay, you type Google Sheet. Yes, uh, Google Sheet, yes. Okay. Once Google. you type Google Sheet, can you see it now? Okay. Can you see? Because yes, me, I've already downloaded, so that's why I say open. For your own case, since you have not downloaded, you see Google Sheet, you'll just click on it to download it, okay? Okay. Yeah, that's the way to download it. Okay. For some, of you who, for some of you who have already downloaded it, if you go to it, mine will definitely be different from yours. So if you go to it, uh, once you open it, you'll see your files directly like this, okay? Uh, this will be different when you look at it from a computer, okay? So um, once, you have, once you have it projected like this, so you can, if you want to open any file, you can just go and open any file. Like, for example, if you want to open the register, you can just 
click on there and the register will be open for you so you can see okay then um, uh, let me go back if you want to create okay if you want to create a new file okay you'll use the plus look at the plus at the bottom the plus at the bottom right corner okay the bottom right corner you use that plus so once you click that plus it will uh, ask you either you want a template or a new sheet okay then you say new spreadsheet so once you say new spreadsheet it will ask you to enter the the file name okay unlike that of the the pc it allows you to just open directly and then later on you can go and click the file name but this one will ask you to enter the file name so let's say the file name is called abc so once you say abc can you see okay are you following are you seeing what i'm doing yes okay excellent so you type the file name and then you uh, press on create okay just like i've done and then you will be um, a fresh worksheet will be created for you can you see okay so if you if you want to add a new worksheet because some of you were finding this difficult last week if you want to add a new worksheet look at it there is a plus at the uh, at the bottom corner okay on the right at the bottom right corner there is a plus there so when you click that plus, that will allow you to add a worksheet. Have you seen it? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. yes, please. Mr. Sofana, so, yes. Mr. Sofana, sorry, I'm confused with the new sheet. Because in my laptop, I know the other plus will ask you to add, add a sheet. Yes. That is the left corner. So if you want yes. to open that, that, That's that. different from... I'm showing you how how is how it will appear on a mobile phone. Oh. If it is on your laptop, if you if it is on your laptop, the plus will be on your left. Yes, the plus is there. It says add sheet. It says add sheet. Yes. Okay. It All will right. say add sheet. But this one is on a mobile phone. I'm projecting my mobile phone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So so um, if you want to add a new worksheet. Okay, not new file. Worksheet is different from workbook. Workbook is the file that has got so many seats, whereas a worksheet is one page. Okay, so uh, if you want to add a new worksheet, you click on the plus sign. Okay, the plus at the bottom. So just click on the plus. So once you click on the plus, look at it. It has automatically added sheet two for you. Okay, can you see? Then if you want to rename the worksheet, okay, if you want to give it a different name, because once you create a worksheet, by default, Google Sheet gives it a name called Sheet 1, Sheet 2, Sheet 3, like that. So if you want to change it, okay, if you want to change it, you just click on, um, look at that uh, drop-down menu there. So just click on it. Once you click on it, then something like this will, uh, uh, will, will, will come. Okay, it will give you various options. Delete, if you want to delete, then that will delete the worksheet that you have created. Duplicate, duplicate will duplicate the worksheet. It will make it two. Okay, rename will give it a new name. And then you can hide it. You can, you know, show grid lines and so on and so forth. So let's say we want to rename it. So we click on rename. So once you click on rename, then you can give it a name. Let's say we want to call it... Um, MA3, you know, MA3 ABC or whatever, then we click on OK. Are you seeing it? Okay, then you click on OK. So once you click on OK, look at it. Look at it at the bottom here. Okay, look at it. So the, 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 uh, the name will be created for you down there. Okay, so when you want to type something, Unlike um, when you're using your laptop, unlike when you're using, you know, when you're using your laptop, once you click on the cursor, you, you can just type straight using your keyboard. But this time around, if you click on, if you click on any shell, in order for you to type, you come down at the bottom here where it says enter formula. Okay. 
So once you click there, then now it's ready for you to type, okay? Either text or numbers or anything. So like if I want to type hello class, then once I type that, then there is this uh, little um, correct, the, the correct sign here. Then once you click that, then it will be entered on your something, okay? So the same thing if you want to do formula, like if you have some numbers, let's say we type some numbers, um, four, five, six, and then the next one, let's say two, three, two, uh, zero. Then we come down. Let's say we want to find the formula for this. Uh, so let's say we want to add this. So what we do is, once we are here, we just press the equals. Then we type SUM. Then the bracket opens. Okay, so we click on the first one. After clicking on the first one, then we do uh, a color, okay? Then we click on the last one, okay? After clicking on the last one, we must make sure these uh, commas are removed, okay? After doing the last one, then we close the brackets. We enter. So if we close the bracket, we enter, look at it. The answer is there. And at the bottom, it shows you the formula. But when you're using a laptop, the formula is usually shown on the formula bar on top. Can you see the difference? Yes, yes. yes. Excellent, excellent. Yes. Mr. Fofana? Yes. In, in the case of mobile phone, if you put the sum and you put the plus sign, will that not be correct too, the plus sign? Uh, like if you say equals, then, then the number and then plus. Yes, it will be correct. Okay, okay, because I did that and I have it correct. Yes, it will be correct. Yes, what you're saying is, for example, if you say equals, then you, you click on 456, then you say plus, you click on 320. Yes, it will be correct. And you enter, yes, it will be correct as well. Okay. Okay, so um, um, with a mobile phone, is not that much flexible when you are using a PC, okay? <clears throat> but it's also very good and robust. So um, if you want to add a new column, for example, what you do is you highlight where you want to add it, and then there is this, look at it, this plus here, meaning add on the right, and this plus here means add on the left. So once you click on them, let's say we want to write add on the left. So we just click on the one uh, that's here. So you see, uh, automatically what, what it does is uh, it will give you, it will add a fresh color. Can you see? Then the other one will add at the different location. So if you want to, uh, for example, expand, expand the, uh, uh, the column, you want to expand it, you click on it, once you click on it, look at it on top here. There is this um, uh, two arrows. So use your finger, use your tongue, click on it, okay? Click on it and then drag it, sorry. You click on it and then you, sorry, sorry. Okay, can you see? You click on where those pluses are, then you drag it with your finger. So once you drag it, look at it, it will expand for you. Can you see? So it will expand for you, okay? so. That of the, the mobile phone and uh, the PC, there is a bit of difference. But if you understand the mobile phone, it's also very handy, okay? So if you want to do some formatting, look at where the, the, that a sh shaded A is sort of, can you see? So you just click on there. Once you click on there, look at that. You can have your, make it bold, make it italic, make it underline. The, the text size, can you see the text size? Okay, the text color, the font, rotation and so on and so forth, okay? So if you want to format cells, instead of text, you just click on cell, can you see? So the first one was text, and then you have cell, okay? So on the cell, you can um, uh, fill the color of the cell, the borders, the wrap text, the match, the number formatting, and so on and so forth, okay? So when you come on top here, at the top right corner, you have these three dots, okay? 
When you see three dots, means there are menus that are hidden on there. So once you click on those three dots, look at it. You can have some additional uh, uh, features. Like it will allow you to view comments, you know, the, the comments that have been made. It can, uh, there's final place, there is uh, explore. There is share, if you want to share. For example, if you want to share with me or share with someone else. Okay, so the other one available offline. Can you look at it? This is very, very important. Available offline. Please take note of this. Once you create your file using internet, make sure this available offline box is ticked. Okay, so make sure you tick this available offline. Okay, once you do the available offline, what that means is even if you are not connected to internet, even if you are not connected to internet, um, you will be able to access your file offline, okay? But then there will be some restrictions. You'll be able to do some typing and you can be able to do some calculation, but you cannot be able to share, okay? So you can populate data, you can add some stuff on it. So once you have internet, then you can be able to share and do other things, okay? So enabling the offline mode, is very, very, very important. Okay, is that clear? Okay. Yes, like Mr. Fofana, it's clear. Okay, um, I have a question too. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. One after the other, yes. What's the question? Yes, go ahead. So, like, uh, the cell is... In terms of inputting uh, like a number which has mm -hmm. not been calculated within the cell, mm -hmm. and it involves two operation signs and uh, uh, division and multiplication and addition at a go. Okay. How do you go about that? Last time I called and asked you about it, you did it for me. I did it for the first one, mm -hmm. but the second one and the third one, I try, I try. I, so I just insert the numbers direct. Okay. So that was the issue. Yeah. You know, um, uh, how to call it, uh, in, um, in, in, in Excel, in spreadsheets, it has been developed using the mathematical, you know, uh, functions. So if you want to add um, numbers using different functions, what you do is uh, you make use of um, board mass. Okay, you make use of board mass. So the same approach is what you're going to use here. Like if you want to multiply two numbers, that needs to be added to particular numbers. First, what you need to do is, is to multiply, isn't it? So the multiple, the, to multiply the two numbers, you have to put those numbers in brackets and then there will be a plus, you know, to add another number to it. Okay, I'll give you a typical example. Uh, can you see my screen? The, the phone I'm projecting, can you see? Yes. Okay, what is it saying? Is it so in my... Yes, I can. No. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Can you see? Or you can? I'm not... I'm, yes. I'm seeing my yeah, yeah, I can see. Oh, no, you can see it. Yeah, connected to Lamin. Lamin, S sorry? Uh, for Mr. me, Fofana, I'm seeing, we just seeing yeah. here connected to. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's uh. Uh -huh. Lanso, 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 plus fifty nine. Good. Eleven Pro Max. Yes, yes, it's the it's the how to call it the the connection to. I'm using a particular app, so it's okay. I will I'll get it sorted. Um, so I'll connect. Give me one second. Then I'll start broadcasting. Sometimes it loses you know um, connection you know when you are using free stuff sometimes um, it does not behave the way you want it to behave <laughs> okay wow it's still not coming broadcasting okay it's misbehaving yeah it's maybe it's misbehaving but anyway basically you've seen um some of the features of the um, how do you call it? Um, 
the, the Google Sheet on your mobile phone, okay? As we go along, we're going to demonstrate uh, more of that, okay? So um, what the other guy is asking is about when you are adding some stuff. Like, for example, when you want to add two numbers, let me just demonstrate that. Um, i just get this off now, stop. Okay, one second, I just connect to our main walk. Okay, right. Okay, so what he was asking is, for example, if you have to add, let's say, um, let's say 10,000 plus 30 multiplied by 12, for example, okay? you cannot just go straight in the formula and then do it like that. So you must use board marks. So for example, you say equals 10,000, okay, plus bracket opens, 30 multiplied by 12. Close the bracket, then you enter. Okay? So if you have to add, Another stuff to this again, for example, this 10,000, whatever you have here, let's say you want to, um, whatever you, sorry, let me just take this, okay? So this is what we got. Whatever you have here, let's say you want to divide all that, you want to divide all that by, let's say, 100. Okay? So you will come in turn here and then put everything in bracket here, still same board mass, so that will be the second bracket. So that means whatever you have as a result of this answer must be divided by 100, then you enter. Can you see? Then you'll get something correct. But otherwise, if you just type this straight with the equals, whatever answer you get will not be correct. Is that clear? Hello? Someone asked this question. I'm just trying to explain. I said, is that clear? Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, so like I said, um, I've just shown you briefly how to yes, it is clear. use your yes. Google Sheet on your mobile app. Okay, we'll do more of this as we go along. Um, at the moment, the, the, the app is not um, um, uh, functioning uh, extremely well. So uh, we'll continue with our, we'll continue with our, uh, question that's hence our limited and uh, as we go along we're going to demonstrate more using both the, the pc or the laptop and then the mobile device okay um okay mr fofana i think no? you should no? remind you when it is 30 minutes it's more okay. than 30 now mm -hmm. i didn't want to interrupt when you were explaining okay good 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 so we will we will stop this recording and uh, uh in fact is uh, the timing is very good because we're going to um, uh, question now. Okay. Just stop recording.